Hello, I'm Greg Harrison with the USDA Market News Service here in St. Joe, Missouri with your National Feeder Cattle Summary this week. Well, compared to last week, calves and yearlings traded fully steady to $5 higher, with instances across the Midwest and Southern Plains trading up to $10 higher. Last week's higher fed cattle market helped spur feeder cattle prices higher this week as they rebounded from last week. Demand was good on light to moderate receipts this week. Looking at some prices last Friday in Fort Pierce, South Dakota, buyers are pretty optimistic as they sold over 450 head of 800 850 pound steers with a weighted average weight of 833 pounds and sold with a weighted average price of 223.39. Cattle Country video this week out of Torrington, Wyoming held a video auction selling a little over 45,000 head of top quality calves and yearlings, mostly from the north central states. A few highlights included over 1,050 head of yearling steers averaging 917 pounds sold with a weighted average price of 213.79 and that was for current delivery. 320 head of fancy steer calves weighing 430 pounds traded at 355 a pound that was for September October delivery cattle futures on Monday turned green and had triple digit gains and uh, feeder cattle futures of over three dollars and uh, kind of uh, set the tone for Monday and for the week, but but the futures uh, really failed to charge uh, ahead on Tuesday and Wednesday, did have some modest gains on Thursday. Monday's rally on the futures was pretty much supported by last week's higher fed cattle trade and hopefully finding a seasonal bottom there. Cattle futures right now seem at this time to have a lot of traders sitting on the sidelines taking a wait and see attitude. Feeder cattle prices are pretty much going to be uh, driven by the fed cattle markets and if fed cattle have put in a summer low, the question then becomes how much upside potential does the fed cattle market have. The market still, the fed cattle market still needs some kind of news to bring uh, the fed cattle up to a level where feeders will make uh, uh, will make money when they're finished. And looking at some box beef prices, uh, box beef been waffling lately, uh, not necessarily wanting to uh, break out to the upside, and it's been kind of snail-like in its uh, to get moving off its mark. But the bo- box beef on Wednesday did close a dollar seventy-three cents higher on choice product at two thirty-five twenty-one. Then on Thursday, closed two cents lower at two thirty-five nineteen. Looking at some uh, it's regional weighted average prices in the North Central region this week, steers weighing six seven hundred pounds, about three dollars higher at two fifty-two oh five, seven eight hundred pounds, ten dollars higher at two thirty-six oh six, eight to nine hundred pounds, running about five dollars higher at two eighteen sixty-six. And looking at the South Central region, six seven hundred pound steers, four dollars higher at two thirty-three forty. Seven, seven to eight hundred pounds, two nineteen oh two. That's four dollars higher, and eight to nine hundred pounds running about two dollars higher at two oh eight seventy eight. Southeast regions, calves weighing four to five hundred pounds, five dollars higher at two fifty six seventy eight, and five to six hundred pounds, two dollars higher at two thirty four seventy two. That's your markets for this week. Thanks for listening. Be back with you next week.